Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium on the campus of New Bedford High School, where tonight the New Bedford Cable Network is proud to present boys' high school volleyball action. The homestanding New Bedford High Whalers taking on their rivals, the Durfee Hilltoppers out of Fall River. Joe Cabral and Chris Santos with you for the action here from the Ed Rodericks Court, the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium. Two teams that used to be part of the big three, but have been rivals for many, 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 and I mean many years. They're meeting here tonight in boys volleyball action, Chris. And the last time we were here, Joe, it was pretty much perfection for New Bedford High School. Besides maybe some service errors, they looked very good. They've won three in a row since after beating New Bedford Volk. They are up to 10 and seven while Durfee comes in at 6-11. 16th in the state right now in Division I is New Bedford High, while Durfee is 28th. So this team is moving, Joe, in the right direction. The cylinders are going, and Ben Caturley has got this place excited, not only uh, in the school, but even in the crowd, because they're talking about how this team has come together uh, during this year. Yeah, no doubt about it, Chris. They were the better team despite the fact that Volk only had one loss coming into the match here, they looked to the naked eye to be superior. And they proved it out that night. And since then, as you mentioned, have won three straight. And the crowd energized. Another good-sized crowd here. We're not even ready to start yet. Just a few minutes away. But good-sized crowd for an early evening matchup here with Durfee. Yeah, and if we can get our cameras to the far wall or even behind the New Bedford uh, bench, you will see the far wall has all the seniors, and it is senior night here in New Bedford, so they will announce them all, and I think they will do the same thing uh, for Durfee. But there's some pictures of the boys way in the back under the scoreboard in the far corner, so maybe we can get a picture of that. And the parents, are, there it is right there, and the parents are waiting on the side, Joe, uh, as they will be announced as well. So Ben Caturley got his work cut out for him here tonight, and he's going to speak with the Durfee coach and go over the seniors for them as well. Yeah, that impressive win over Volk really propelling New Bedford here into the postseason. Uh, virtually a lock at this point, Chris. Ranked 16th in the state. Durfee comes in this one within the top 32, I believe 28. So they would be a part of the postseason as well. But New Bedford with a chance here to even have a home game uh, to start off the tournament. Yep, finish up with North Quincy in their next one. So they lost to North Quincy three to one up there. So another good game ahead for the Whalers. And that'll be interesting to see how the team has progressed Second senior for Durfee. They're announcing Taraj Durfee's Holloway. seniors. Third senior for Durfee is Matt Medeiros. That's Matt Fourth Medeiros being Durfee introduced. Caio Mores. Caio Mores. And Mac Reed. And Tal Holloway was also one of the seniors, seniors the announced here tonight. Along with Colin Grimet. These seniors have instilled a positive, dedicated, and hardworking culture. Now, the seniors like for New Bedford to be introduced here on Senior Night. In your future. And now, your 2022 New Bedford High School Seniors. Number eight, opposite Dave Reese Jackson. Seniors being introduced. <laughs> there you see the line. And Coach Cotoli taking a picture. Yep. Nicely done. And mom and one of the siblings. Siblings, I think believe. Yeah. Correct. 
And of course, Chrissy's got to get in. Jack Letourneau being introduced. Each senior will get a plaque with a pitcher. So nice to see. Another great day outside, Joe, but not as hot as last time when we were here for Volk. Number 13 is Jaden Gomes Watson. Supposed to be 85 tomorrow in the city, Chris. That's correct. Saturday and Sunday supposed to be very nice. Look forward to it. <laughs> Hopefully get some golf in, Joe. And it's PGA Number Tournament six, weekend. Sam correct. Mosier. Here's Sam Mosier. Number six, the third of, uh, fourth of the seniors being introduced here. <laughs> Sam's got that biblical look going on, Chris. Yes. Got the beard and the, the long hair. And his father, one of the basketball coaches in lacrosse as well. Next up, we have number two, opposite Drizzy Maldonado. Number two, Andre Maldonado. You have to be happy for Ben Caturley, who was an outstanding player here at New Bedford High School. And now he seems to have some momentum back with the program, Chris. He does. Um, you know, and when you're dedicated to a sport and you have the time to put into that sport, which he has on season and off season, and hosting a lot of camps as well. Get this program back to where it was. And we remember some good ones in oh. that De Rossi era. Um, and and he's really trying hard uh, to really make this work. And he's gotten some players to develop as volleyball players and not just athletes trying to be a volleyball player. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Andre Santos, number 15, the senior here on senior night, but he's definitely got the program going in the right direction. Yep. It's been a challenge again since Steve DeRossi left. He had just the magic touch, Chris. 20-plus yep. 20, 20 years, and every year they were contenders. He's got some great heritage, too. His father was a great athlete, Mark Caturley. Yes. Um, he's got some uncles, uh, good players I used to play a lot with in softball. Um, so it's a good... Uh, Good group of guys to really get him uh, to follow along in their footsteps. And I'm glad he's doing so well. Senior night, just a wonderful night for the players to be recognized. Seeing all of those elaborate handshakes. 
you know, like anything else, the camaraderie that you put into it. And uh, that, that's what you live in in high school, um, Joe. Yes. To find out later on, hey, do you remember when? Uh, and, and that was a lot of fun. And we, we saw some excitement um, a, a lot, not only on the court, but off the court when they played Vogue. And the atmosphere was electric. Oh, wow. It, it was a lot of fun and a lot of dancing yep. and a lot of celebrating. But, uh, you know, they really made it work. And here comes Ryan Dawsonberg. And he's really progressed here over the last couple of years yep. with his play. Not someone who I believe, at least to our naked eye, probably played volleyball prior to yep. the last couple years. And there's brother Eric on his left. Mom and dad in there as well. You can see where the height comes from. Even mom's, oh, yeah. even I, mom's got some. Yeah, I, and I believe dad was a college football player, if I remember correctly. Sure he was. Yep. Get the build for it, that's yep. for sure. Yep. Kishan Patel, who had an outstanding match against Volk, as did Ryan Dawsonberg, as did virtually the entire squad. Yep. But Kishan was outstanding. And there's all the seniors getting together for one big pitcher. <laughs> and like I said, Joe, if you treasure this, you look back on it and you see how special it is. Yes, indeed. And as you can see, a, a senior-laden squad for New Bedford here in 2022. It's paid off. Crowd rising here now <clears throat> as we're just moments away from the start of tonight's match. It's time for our national anthem. National Anthem, another steamy night here at the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium. You can see the door open to the backside of the gymnasium as they are want to do here when they try to cool off the environment here just a little bit. 5.30 start to this one. Hilltop is coming in at 6 and 11. After New Bedford, they'll finish up with Dighton Rehoboth and Bellingham to end their season. New Bedford beat Durfee on April 29th in Fall River in three sets to nothing fashion. And let's see what happens here this evening. Durfee in the road red black trim and New Bedford in the home white with the red trim. New Bedford coming into this one, ranked number 16 in the state in Division I. Durfee at number 28. 
Whalers with a 10 and 7 record. Durfee at 6 and 11. You can hear the buzz from the crowd behind us with fans still filing in. Hopefully we're ready here for the start of tonight's match. New Bedford defeating Durfee earlier on the road at Durfee in three straight sets. We're ready for set number one with number three, Jake Galvin on the service line for Durfee. Set to the outside. That was Santos and he hits the antenna. So the first point goes to Durfee. Number three on the service line is Jack Galvin. That's Ortega, middle of the floor, and the ball is out from Dawsonburg, so New Bedford a little bit of a slow start, a little sloppy here to start it off, Chris. Now sometimes you get the excitement and you want to impress the fans. Just got to play your game. Let's hope they get back to it early. Another ball that's out. And as New Bedford has given Durfee, and literally given Durfee the first three points of the match here. That time they went to Santos. And the ball nicely set by Watson. And Santos puts away the first point of the match for New Bedford. And he'll go to the service line. Andre Santos. Miss hit there, but Durfee keeps it alive. Galvin bumps it over safely. And then an easy throw down for Dawsonburg. Left hand, too. Yeah, he saw no one there, even though it was on the first ball. And he just decided, I got to take advantage of this. 3 2, New Bedford trailing it. Santos continuing to serve. And we're tied at three. That's a service ace. So quickly come right back 3-3. Three, three. Remember too, Joe, this may not be the correct starting lineup when no. it's senior night. Yep. You mix it all around. All so seniors out there. You have to remember that. And Dawsonberg again took the miss pass. And just put it away easily again with that left hand. A run of four straight points on Santos's serve. Off the tape, but stayed with it nicely. On the outside, nice block there. Into the net. And point to New Bedford, Durfee in the net. Durfee's starting to get a little sloppy here now. Yeah, and Coach is looking over saying, fellas, ju just do the smart play. What's with the back set when you're running forward? Yeah. Makes no sense. New just Bedford go forward with it. With six straight points, and yeah. a lot of those were just points given to New Bedford. And then Santos became aggressive there, thought he could come up with an ace and went long. So point to Durfee, 6-4, New Bedford yeah. leads it. And the ball wanted to be touched by Reed. And he went for it. Just he just missed it. He just whiffed. Though there is a good sized crowd here, Chris, you can see the difference as far as the energy. Matthew Medeiros checking in. Defensive specialist on the serve. Dawsonberg, Patel. And just sloppy. New Bedford's made some sloppy plays. That was a very sloppy one from Patel. Yeah, you can see already that Jeffrey has not even in their five points attempted a set to put the ball away. Not even a kill yet. No. 
Dawsonburg. It's, it's easy for New Bedford as long as they want to play here tonight, but you can tell oh. just not the same level of motivation here, at least early on. Right, exactly. 7-5, Whalers lead it. Dawsonburg already with three kills. Figueroa Ortega. Sorry. First one. The Bedford was there with the block. Double. Mosier. Sam Mosier's first kill of the match. Eight five. New Bedford leads it. Figueroa Ortega serving. That's a good set. That's outside. a good set. And the ball was nicely put away there that time by Anthony Granham. Very, very good set. This is Mac Reed. Uh oh. Granham on the outside. New Bedford is there. Watson, bump set to the and outside, Patel, Patel no Patel chance. Patel is there too. No chance. <laughs> Down the line, like it. First kill of the match for Kishan. It's Ryan Dawsonberg on the service line. <laughs> Serving is Carter Barboza into the net. That's four strikes. Yes, that is the case. Good call, Joe. And on top of that one. Joshua Sanon into the net. And then when the ball came back, it was a fourth strike. Over safely. Figaro Ortega. Oh, and then blocked at the net. It was Sanon. Sanon. I watched Sanon a little earlier take a ball and dunk it. So I know he can jump. Get some ups. Yes. We saw him on the basketball yes. floor. On the outside. Set not there. Maldonado again was blocked. Set wasn't in a good position for him. He had to go with a tip. Not as sharp as we've seen them. No. Serving for Durfee, it's Matuzek. And then the block and the ball's out, so point to New Bedford. Again, good energy is, from Sinan, though, yeah. good energy. Yeah, and this is one of those matches so far where you can tell New Bedford feels like uh, we can just play hard enough to win. You've got to be careful. It's Patel. Especially when you're not the greatest serving Reed. team. Yes, Sinan over. Good set. On the outside, Maldonado, sky hook. Go nice. up again. Dig there by Reed. Hey boy. And then Maldonado took the overpass, put it away. Kind of funny. The, the legs moved, then the arm did a little windmill. Windmill. Yeah. Yep. Even the speed of play, Chris, it's so much more deliberate than mm -hmm. it was when we were last Correct. here. Correct. Sanon on the outside. Push. Bedford is there. Maldonado blocked. Blocking. He's been blocked a few times here. That time it was number one, Cameron DeMello. Sure was. Very solid. See how he serves. A little spin. And he flattens it out. Dawson Burton. Nope. the floor. And Santos into the net. Four strikes for New Bedford. Bad on forced error there. I mean, that's, that's yeah. one you got to put away. Yep. Here's Sanon. Another point to Durfee. Wow, Chris. Talk about playing down to your competition. Right now they are. New Bedford's got to get their act together here. Leading only by one. And the serve was out. First service error from either team. I apologize. 
Uh, New Bedford did one as well. Yes, and first they for Durbin. They serve one long. Yep, one and one. <laughs> Check that. And New Bedford. Talked them out of it. Yeah, you, you talked them into it, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Making a service error. So now back to a one-point New Bedford lead. Should be two, I believe. if it's correct and our scoreboard is different than what we have here at the gymnasium. So now it's 13-12 in favor of New Bedford. Double-checking the score, I believe. Yes. I, we thought it was 13-12, so now we believe it would have been 13-13. Correct. But here at the gym, they had it 13-11, so the point was given to Durfee making it 13-12, but they're checking. And they, they can't get it confirmed here. I think... You can see Durfee disputing the fact that it should be 13-13. So they're going to ask. Yep, they're just <laughs> going to go over to the chair umpire. But again, if he wasn't paying attention. They got it, 13-all, because their assistant had it. Yep. And in now it is 13-all. So good job by our crew to know what the score is. Yes. Yep. And so we. They were on it. I was going right. by the scoreboard. And that's why you keep score Correct. on your bench, because you have to. You're the only, there's no replay to go back to. Though there could have been, we're here, but generally you keep the score on your bench just so you can always be able to question the score when it doesn't change properly. We've seen that a couple of times the last couple of years. Tied at 13. Well, New Bedford better start waking up or they're going to let this one go away. Very. They would have had, if they played like this against Volk, they would sure. have been whitewashed. I mean, that was a ball from Maldonado that was a good 10 feet beyond the end line. Not even close. Durfee leading at 14-13. And Dawsonberg into the net. 15-13. This is when you say, wow, it's head scratching. I'm sure as a coach, Ben is like, okay, we're playing around here. DeMello serving. On the outside, Dawsonberg. Tried the little dunk. Got away with it, but Durfee was there. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, you might think you're better than what the opposition is, and you could be, but you still got to go up and play the game. And you just can't go through the motions. Exactly. What did Herm Edwards say, yep. Chris? Absolutely. Play to win the game. On the outside, nice block from New Bedford that time. Into the net. But the Whalers in the net. Oh, nope, Durfee. nope, Durfee. Durfee. So we should be tied now at 15. This is Watson. Jaden Gomes Watson. Good serve. It's a service ace for Watson. Oh, he touched an oh, out ball. Durfee played a ball that was going to be out. <laughs> Bumped over by Govan. Break for New Bedford. Break, big break. Ball was touched. The ball was touched. Dawsonberg with a kill. Ball was off the net and then touched. So kill for Ryan Dawsonberg and point to New Bedford. Now yeah, leading it And unfortunately, that was a gift. It was. Because Matuzak. Went after the ball, he obviously should have let go. That was out. Yes. Galvin setting middle of the floor. Durfee can't put it away. That's Dawsonberg with a tip. Good Bedford play from the Bethel. Galvin going to set to the outside. 
And the point to Durfee. Good hang time by Granham on that one. Yeah, it's Anthony Granham, number five. <laughs> Bedford with a one-point lead. Galvin serving. That's a mistake. Oh, bad pass by Santos looking for Watson. And we're tied again. This time 17 apiece. Over safely. Yeah, they Galvin gonna... on the outside. Oh, he touched one. Got it to Matuzek. That could Point have been to... going out. Point to Durfee. This is incredible, Chris. After what we saw the other night, this is absolutely. It's this like is... apples and oranges. Oh, my goodness. Right now, two different teams. The, in the intensity just looks like very lethargic. Lackadaisical. Yeah. Like we're, we're, we're better, we're here, we beat Volk, we won our last three, we're a good team, and you have players who played some outstanding volleyball against Volk Tech. Not really doing much of anything here. And as a result, they're trailing Durfee 18 17. And it's not like Durfee's been playing some stellar volleyball by any stretch. So Ben, ben Caturley calls timeout. And when the hype of senior night, Wales need to find uh, some senior leadership to take over and come back in this game and take it. It's amazing how sensitive the play of a high school team can be so New Bedford if you if you change the jerseys you would have no idea this is the same team that played against Volk Tech Goffin serving on the outside Santos went off the block and gets credited with a kill second of the match well, at Andre. least they got the point back after coming out of the timeout so let's see how Santos responds could float deep serve. Galvin, Granham, Watson was there. Watson plays good it over spot. safely. Good play by Reed. Reed, that's Granham. And the point to Durfee, 19-18. Durfee refusing to go away here, Chris. Yeah, they're going nowhere. They will stay right here and give you everything they've got. No doubt in my mind. It's a rivalry. I don't care what sport. Even if it was ping pong, you, they you, would be going after each other. Exactly. Because it's Durfee, New Bedford. It's as simple as that. And when you're the underdog, you yep. always come in with energy. Yep. And serve into the net by Matthew Medeiros. So that gives New Bedford a point to tie it at 19. Yeah, that was the first tightness yeah. that I've seen by uh, any player. This is Figueroa Ortega. Galvin will set. The ball is long. And to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm still waiting for a big kill from yeah. Durfee. Yep. It's not really there. No. Except for, obviously, Sanan. Which is coming up now. Nope. They went to Sanan, yes. but not a great pass, so it just ended up being a tip. Correct. That's Mosier Next. off the block. No, that's carry. That's a violation carry. I hit it with two hands. Very deceiving player, Reed. But he's all on the floor, boy. He's a defensive specialist. Yes. He's been tough. Gets around. Yes. That was number two, Matuzic. And in the corner, it's good. 21-20, New Bedford leading it. 
Here's Reed. On the outside, oh. Patel with a left hand went oh, across. Got away with that one. Uh, they've gotten away with a few here so yeah. far. The set was not very good. No. And he had to judge it, go with the left hand. The good part is they got a two-point lead, and they have the serve. That always helps. And Carter Barboza serving. Oh, oh, nice block that time by New Bedford. Moja. Moja there. One of the balls that was, was better struck here, but Mosier nicely. And New Bedford gives a point right back with a service error. Matuzek. Daniel Matuzek. Patel. Easy setup for Kishan Patel and a glove save by Chris and a beauty. And a beauty. And a beauty. I, I short hopped that one, but nicely. Caught it off the ice. Yep. New Bedford with a set point. Oh. And they give the point away. Oh. Fitting, I guess, for this first set that that would happen. Yeah, I guess so. 24-22. So now they're going to have to do it with Durfee serving and checking in his number 10. Kalo Morris, Moraes, so he will serve. Moraes serving. Barboza, got it to Santos. On the outside, Granham, New Bedford was there. Mosier. Mosier blocked. That's Maldonado. Finally a kill. Well, it's actually the second for Andre Maldonado as New Bedford takes a painful set number one by a score of 25-22. So nothing to write home about there, Chris, for sure. But New Bedford does come away with a win in that first set. They now lead it one set to love. Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more of the hype from this team when you, you know, get some good kills, do some good things, you know, get some emotion into it. Looks like it's just, they're just going through the motions. Yes, and this mm -hmm. is one where you're glad this is not the last match of the season heading to the playoffs because you'd be like, wow. Well, there's not much left after this. Yes. For New Bedford because once they finish here, they got one more with North Quincy that is here on Monday the 23rd, and then check the MIAA website for your volleyball playoffs. And as Joe said, possibility of a home game. Possibility. Correct. So if you look at their ranking at 16, Brockton is ahead of them at 15. Same exact record. Needham would be in there, as I believe. Westwood, no. Winchester, no. St. John's wouldn't. Lowell wouldn't. Lexington wouldn't. Newton South would. Cambridge Ringe, I believe, would. Natick would. So there are some teams there that would be in the South uh, overall. Timeout on the floor. We're moving from Set one on to set two. New Bedford taking set number one, 25-22. Hey, you so see the Whaler bench? Yeah. And so if you're Durfee, Joe, well, one thing we're going to look at, too, is uh, are we moving now into maybe a different lineup for New Bedford? So I think we're going to see Carter uh, out there a little bit more uh, in this one. Mosier, Dawsonberg. All the rest of yeah, the Santos, Patel. Players of seniors. Yeah, but, Maldonado. But it did bring out Carter Barboza.
So again, a slow moving match here in comparison to what we saw against Volk Tech. Yep. That one took about a half hour. And even between sets, everything's so deliberate. So the official will check once again. Again, painful. It's a double. Uh, this reminds me of the uh, Buick commercial with Alexa, where the, where the dad is driving and said, don't make me turn this Alexa around. And the kids are commenting the whole time because he keeps on referring to the car as Alexa when mm -hmm. it's a Buick right. with Alexa. Carter Barboza serving. Blocked at the net. That's Barboza. Now Mosier went with a tip, but Durfee was there. Very important to square up to the ball, Joe. No doubt. So you have some weight going forward. Figueroa Ortega on the outside, Maldonado. He's been blocked a bunch of times by mm -hmm. Durfee here. Sanon could not put one away. That's Maldonado. This time he got it past the blockers. And then the ball is well long by Joshua Sanon. Granham back into the lineup. Yes, Him and Sanon. And a throwdown, a very simple throwdown on the outside by Sanon. Now, I know it's difficult, Joe, but personally, the, the person that gets the ball back the most is the defensive specialist, would say not. Yes. So then why would you serve to him? <laughs> yeah, you're helping him out. I, I think you're helping him out. I, I would get away from the black jersey yeah. and try to get more to the red jersey. Yeah, you look to someone who... You now I know he, now watch where he sits. He's, sit, he's sitting right in the middle. But I would go down the line in number four. Exactly. I would come out to the right hand side and I would stay away from Reed. Because he's going to do the best job. Absolutely. Return of serve. And they go right to him. Durfee keeps it alive. Yep. That's Granham. Barboza back set. Maldonado couldn't put it away. Reed was there. That's Barboza, now Patel, now Dawsonberg. Didn't square up. Best point of the match here now, Reed. Cut it to Granham. And Granham off the tape, so it rolled over the hands of the New Bedford blockers. Reed two, Durfee out in front. Reed. Figueroa Ortega. Barboza. Bumped over safely. Galvin. Get up. With a bump set. Durfee is there. There's Reed again. On the outside. Looked like it was going to be in, and Reed reacted quickly. Yep. Just couldn't make the play. Tough sometimes to let go. Here's Maldonado. And into the tape by Matuzek. Daniel Matuzek. That's why they have the saying, Chris, you're only as good as your competition. Mm -hmm. 
You watch New Bedford today, you would be hard pressed to believe that they could beat New Bedford Volk into the net. Unforced error. Outside Dawsonburg. Played it over safely. Set to the outside, Dawsonburg. Reed was there. They're gonna go back to Santos. Oh. Again, Durfee was there, nice dig. Durfee staying alive here. Oh, he touched it. Middle of the floor, Dawsonburg went with a tip. No, that's not gonna work. And Durfee comes up with a point. And, I, and, and Santos is not uh, as aggressive in that middle. I mean, come on. Put the ball. Yeah. One of the tallest guys on the court. Didn't, Let's hit it. Didn't need the tip there. No, he, and he's tipped it twice. Durfee has taken the lead. Reed, Calvin to the outside. New Bedford is there with the block. It was Santos. Working with Barbosa. Here's Santos. Griffey keeps it alive. Blocked at the net. Point goes to New Bedford. 6-5. Andre Santos. Served it long. New Bedford serving now. On the outside, Patel. New Bedford was unable to put that point away, and then they lose the point as a result. Seven six, Durfee. Durfee serves it out. See serving that difficult, Joe? No. Uh, I don't either. Especially when you, ha if you have an issue, you struggle. Yep. The rule of thumb has to be stand in the middle of the floor yep. and play it in right. every time. Golvin set. Sanon could not put one away. And the ball comes down on New Bedford's side. 8-7, Durfee. Santos over safely. And on. That should be four hits. Back tied at eight. This is one as a head coach. After this, if you survive and win the match, you you sit them down and say, you know, we won, guys, but that's about the extent of what we won. Durfee still hanging on. Nine eight. Durfee leads it. Barboza back set. Patel went cross court. You would think with these two squads, New Bedford would have runs of points, but they've been basically playing at a point. Pretty much. Back and forth. Oh, let it go. Tough to do, I guess. New Bedford is there. Barboza sets for Maldonado. 
put it over, but that's about it. Yeah, it's going to have to go over. And it's a good 10 feet long. Kishan Patel serving. Great serve. Look yes, where it was. he served that one. Yes, it was. Not to read. Placement. Yes. Back to number 10. I would get to Moraes as much as possible right there. And serve is ace. Yes. And Chris's point is you take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves. Yeah. If you see a player in kind of a weak link, look like they were hiding. Yeah. I mean, we did it. I used to play tennis. And, you know, you can serve down the tee to the backhand, in the middle to the body, or out wide to the forehand. So at the beginning, you would take some, take some chances and move it to all three and see which one they didn't like. And when they didn't like it, no offense, you were going to get a every, dose of it. Every time. I could tell you that. And then even like in doubles, there's the right side and the left side. Yep. Well, if the guy's playing the right side, which you, you have to know that he's going to be liking his forehand. While the other side, he's probably going to be liking his backhand. So you have to kind of mix and, and match and, and figure it out. Same thing in volleyball. See which one you like down the line. Stay away from the defensive guru. I mean, you, you try to find a way to win free points. Turkey will need three free points, trailing by three right now at 12-9. On the service line, Kishan Patel. All right. Boy, I thought that was a carry. Looked like it. Granham Yeesh. played it over. Surprised by that. Uh, I think that's a makeup make call. But biggest lead, Joe, of the entire evening, four. Bedford trying to get a little more roll. That's fine. Barboza, and here's Patel over safely. That was Reed. And again, New Bedford is there. Too far. Good save. The ball was alive, but into the net. Great effort there by New Bedford. Santos and Mosier trying to finish it off, just couldn't get it to go over. Unfortunately, not on that one. Fourteen, ten, New Bedford leading it. See, to me, that was a great serve, but it went right to Reed, and he made a, a perfect pass to the setter. Perfect. Yeah, now, I want to see someone else do that than Reed. And you pointed that out several times. Right to Reed, Watch. and here we go. Right to Reed oh, yeah. again. Right to the setter, and a chance to put it away. Kind of crazy. Yep. Now, I know he did this spreading out, and he's got the middle. Right. But, but still, you got to go down the line. you got to go somewhere else. Yep. They're telling you who they wanted to go exactly. to, and you're accommodating them. It's almost... Nice serve there by Reed. It was Reed. very good. Dawsonberg, no one's going to get to that one. Ryan Dawsonberg now unofficially with five kills. New Bedford up 16-11. Opening up a little bit of a better lead here. Santos gets it to Maldonado. Guy hook opportunity there. Mullins couldn't put it away. Amores, I should say. 
Point to New Bedford, 17-11. Open it up now here in game number two. Maldonado, Reed was there, but that was a better serve. Wasn't directly at him. Right. Dawsonberg hammers one. Eighteen eleven now. <laughs> Maldonado. And from the outside, the ultimate change of pace from number two, Matuzic. Daniel Matuzic put it off the tape in slow motion. Dawsonberg couldn't get it over on the reaction play by Carter Barboza. Yeah, actually, that was Santos who tried that one. But still a five-point lead. 18-13. It's Barboza, and that's Santos. Blocked, and it's out, so point to New Bedford. And it will be Andre Santos on the service line. Middle of the floor tip, but. Go right back to him. New Bedford. Was there and then a go right back to bad him. pass. Bad it was pass. a bad pass, but they had a chance to set that yes. back to Patel. Instead, he went and tried to get it over, and the middle blocker was waiting for him. You have to see that he was right there. He wasn't going anywhere. That is true. Change the direction. That's Barboza, and then Dawsonberg into the net. Another point for Durfee. 1915. Figueroa Ortega with the return of serve, and there's Dawsonberg. Durfee is there. That's Ortega on the outside. Patel hammers it. Reed got there. Great defensive player. Kept it alive. On the outside again, Patel. And there he is again. There goes Reed. And on, couldn't put it away. New Bedford has to just bump it over. Matuzic. Durfee still with life. Yes, 1916 now. Dawsonberg. Not to him. We was there. That's the first one that he really has kind of gotten away from him. Too much on that return. Mm -hmm. Figueroa Ortega, 20 to 16, New Bedford. That was DeMello. Ball was out, off of New Bedford, killed to DeMello. It's only a three-point New Bedford lead, That's Chris. That's correct. It was up to eight Durfee's at one point. Chipping away. Barbos on the outside. Patel off the blockers. Sanon puts it away. Back to a two-point New Bedford lead. I don't lead. think you want to get him hot. Outside Patel, off the antenna, I believe. Yep, it's out. 20 to 19. Finally, New Bedford able to stop the Durfee run and get their lead back up to two points. Timeout on the floor. 
Carter Barbozo will be on the service line when we come back. But Durfee has called the timeout, trailing it 21-19. With the serve, as Joe said, took set number one, 25-22. Looking to cap set two off and go up 2 nothing. And Joe, if they let this one get away, oh. this gives a lot of uh, hype, I would say, to the Hilltopper team, that's for sure. It's hard to say we've seen any great play from New Bedford here. Good play, maybe. Okay play, but not great play. Not what we saw against Folk Tech. Timeout is over. Durfee back on the floor first. We are ready now to resume play here in set number two. 21 19. Big point for Durfee here. Turn around. Wow. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. Just just sloppy, sloppy. Very, very, very and, and sloppy. And this is this can't be happy for Ben Cattrall. No, no. It really can't. No. Because he knows what this team can can bring to the table. And the athletes that he has yeah, on this team. Yeah, I mean we saw it. That, that's they, that's what and they looked like the better team against yes. Volk by quite a bit. Yet if Volk was playing Durfee here, it would be a whitewash. Whitewash, they would have smoked them. By now, oh. three straight. Anywhere in the teens. Anywhere in the teens. That scores would be. 22-20. That's when you know you're playing well. Yes. You play lesser teams and you put them away. And you win like 25-15. Yeah, not your night. Like that. That's what you do well. 23-20, New Bedford leads it. Patel. I like the change. Durfee is there. And then number five on the outside, Anthony Granham into the net. Point to New Bedford. It's set point, 24-20. And that'll do it. A service ace to wrap up set number two. And New Bedford wins set two, 25-20. Two sets to love for New Bedford over Durfee, but Chris, we've certainly not seen the level of play that we saw here against Volk Tech from New Bedford tonight. Yeah, and it seems like uh, there are times New Bedford has done that. Uh, during the season, I heard when they played Bonstable, uh, it was kind of similar that they thought uh, when you have teams that you're supposed to be easy uh, and you make it difficult for yourself. So hopefully they uh, shape that up a little bit and uh, get better as they get to one more North Quincy and then into the playoffs. Three minutes between sets. New Bedford leading it two sets to love. Scores of 25-22 and 25-20 in favor of the Whalers. There you see a nice look at the Durfee team. Number 25. Those three minute breaks between matches seem to take forever. Still about a minute and a half left. There you see New Bedford. Now New Bedford's bench. Ben Caturley, his squad. Leaving it two sets to love, but as I mentioned earlier, Chris, it's kind of like that Buick 
commercial where they talk about the Alexa yep. in the vehicle. And the father keeps on saying, I'm going to turn this Alexa around. And the son can't believe that his dad keeps on saying that mm -hmm. when it's a Buick. And they've told him it's a Buick. But he just consistently says it's an Alexa. And then the daughter says, painful. And that's what it's been so far tonight. It's been painful. 25, 22, 25, 20 as we get ready to start set number three. New Bedford has come onto the court. Durfee finishing up in their huddle. They'll get out there. They'll check once again the rotation, make sure it's all set. You would think Ben would be saying, guys, we got to play better than this. We're going to be heading to a tournament here. And if we play like this, we'll be heading home. Buzzer sounds, both teams now back on the floor. Durfee, of course, in their road red with black numerals, black and white trim. New Bedford in their home white with red numerals. Every set starts with this deliberate validation of the lineups, it seems. A lot slower than, than normal. Oh, big time. And that's been the story of the entire match so far. Everything has been at a very slow pace compared to what we saw against Vogue Tech. So set three. And the hilltop is to serve back to Joe Cabral. Here we go with Galvin. Dawsonberg was there. But again, not a great effort there by Ryan. Just put it into the net with a very lackadaisical approach. Galvin. That's Santos. New Bedford plays it out again. And, and that particular ball there, wh what are you trying to accomplish with that? Is that supposed to be a winner? I mean, just exactly. get the ball back over. It's the third. You're in trouble. I mean, I don't understand. That's just such a bad, unforced error. Yep. You're flat. I mean, if you're, you're going to do that now, you're going to do that down the road. You've got to eliminate those things. Yeah, and I think that's the main point that we're trying to make. You can't play like this no. up and down. No. You have no chance in the first round of the playoffs. Nope. You'll be out. Them guys will be waiting for you all day. And you got to make them earn it. And what's especially disconcerting is you probably are looking at the records yep. and seeing your opponent. You know you beat them three straight, and maybe you take them for granted. That's Patel. The play by Reed once again. Point to Durfee. Three, two, Durfee. He don't fit the build as of, of a volleyball player. But let me tell you, he gets to him. Yes, he does. Dawsonberg. Wasn't a good set. That's Granham. Couldn't put it away. Watson with a set to Patel. Another block by Durfee. The one thing they've been good at is blocks. And the throw down from Dawsonberg. They've done a good job with their yep. blocking. Good attempt by Jack Garvin there, but no one there else to help him. Tied at three, substitution here. Mosier checking in. Santos out. Figueroa Ortega. Oh. And it's a service ace. But I liked where he served it. <laughs> That's good enough for me. And you see that? And I go right back at it again. Until he shows me he can do something else. Absolutely. Let's see what he does. Here we go. He does. It's again. Back-to-back -back aces. 
Hello. Not hard. And Figure that's out. and this is what happens. And so, then and this guy coming in, we'll get I'd out. go at him or I'd go over here to number four. Exactly. But that's I'm staying away from do. 25. But there was Reed. Yeah. And that's okay because that's an easy one. Watson, middle oh. of the floor, Mosier. Well out. Needs to be closer to the net with that set to make it easier for Mosier to get down on top of it. Here's Reed. Another ball out from Patel. This is one where after the match, you might win in three straight, Chris, but you're gonna have to say, you know what, guys? Oh. Yeah, exactly. That might be enough to say. Yeah. New Bedford is finding a way to win here with as, least, as little effort as possible. Middle of the floor, Matuzic. Durfee back out in front. Reed. Ortega Figueroa over and then again ball played into the lower third of the net. Could be too that Ben Catulli's trying to get some more faces yes. into this lineup you, and to give them more looks. Dangerous game to play, though. Sure is. I mean, you see the last three or four points were just basically given away. Reed. Chomping at the bit to serve now. Patel over safely. Reed. Govan's going to set to Granham. Reed is just give me the ball. Ortega Figueroa. Uh, Figueroa Ortega, I should say. Then the ball outside. Another point. And Ben Caturley calls a timeout. Eleven five, Durfee over New Bedford. It's hmm. been a lackluster performance from New Bedford, though they lead it two sets to love. Scores of 25-22 and 25-20 in favor of the Whalers, but certainly not what we saw here against Volk Tech or even close. No, not at all. The danger, Chris, you play down to your competition, you're setting yourself up for failure when you get to the playoffs. Teams are back out on the floor. Reed. Watson said it middle of the floor. It was stopped. That's Patel. Granham was there. Great play. They kept it alive. Patel. Watson. Patel. Boke is there. Granham tipped it over. And another point to Durfee. Granham. 12-5 Durfee. I think it's time for New Bedford. Looks like Ben Caturley said, I got to get some other players out there. Some of my starters got to get back out there because it's getting away from us here. You don't want to give away a set totally, Chris. Reed. Patel blocked. Durfee's confidence growing. It's 
especially on defense with their blocking. Moved right over to Mello. And Graham's not a big kid. No. But he can jump. Get some ups. That's Patel. Not that time for Durfee. Gishan Patel. Hasn't had a ton of success here tonight, but can strike the ball like that anytime he has an opportunity. Down by seven. Patel. Overpass. And looked like New Bedford was in the net. Looks like we're going to go to a set four at this pace. Sure is. Number two is Matuzic. Middle of the floor. No, he went the other way to Patel and he puts it into the net. Matuzic. And it's out. Point this time. Close. To Folk Tech. Very close. Yes. 15-7. Let's see if New Bedford wants to make a run or just let this one go. That'll be an interesting decision. Is Maldonado. Somebody was in the net first. With Folk Tech. So Durfee looks like. I think it was. Milford. Here we go. Calvin will set on the outside. Sanon could not put one away. That's it Maldonado. Is. He puts that one away. That wasn't Sanon. It was Milford. But point to New Bedford here. Still trailing Only it by, by a healthy margin. We need to cut this though. Point to Durfee. No, well, you're giving some confidence now, and yep. the, the now. mellow up front is actually challenging Santos. And they're making some plays here yeah. now. Yeah. Staring him down after he makes some plays. So a little trash talking going on now. Well, you want to keep them hanging around. That's exactly they're right. They're gonna. Chris. Yeah. That's when you. That's when you slap them, and you beat them in three straight, and you say, "How about that?" But a they're not of, playing it. A lot of. A lot of blocks here from Durfee mm -hmm. in this set. Another point to Durfee. It's hard to recognize this New Bedford team as they call another timeout. This is not the team we saw against Vogue Tech mm -hmm. at all. And DeMello getting under the skin now of some New Bedford players. I mean, you coached for sure did. many years, Chris, and I'm sure you've had circumstances similar to this. And yep. even if, when you look at the New Bedford players and Coach Ben Caturley talking to them, it's almost like you can't convince them that, nope. that you know, this could boomerang, that you guys got to play better than this. It's it's like you're, well, we beat them when we want to. I mean, we're much better. We beat Vogue Tech. And so as a result, they're on the verge of losing a set here. And then once you go to, to set four, then now Durfee thinks like, oh, all we got to do is win one more full set. And then we get to that 15 point set and match set number five and we can win the match there. Well, they're only eight points away from doing it. Milford. Maldonado, Durfee playing better. Mm -hmm. Nice dig there by Matuzic. Miss hit there by Barboza on the set attempt. Eighteen nine. Ben 
Mosier into New, the net. New Bedford into the net. Mosier. Ball was so close to the netting. Just it's a rough one. That's a tip from Santos. And New Bedford stops the run, trailing it now 19-10. This is Mosier. Well, they get the big three up top. Galvin sets on the outside block there nicely. But Durfee keeps it alive. Dawsonberg on the outside. Dig there by Reed. Good play by DeMello. Santos goes on the outside to Maldonado. Good set, and he put it away. But still down by eight points yep. here. And into the net. Twenty to eleven. Durfee goes to the bench. They bring in number fifteen, Tony Gomes. This is Demello. Maldonado was blocked. Santos. Ball went up into the rafters, so point to New Bedford. This would have to be a magical run, Joe. And I don't see it. No, I agree with you. Maldonado. Reed trying to keep it alive, and Durfee does. That's Dawsonberg off the hands of Reed. Twenty to thirteen, and Durfee's going to call a timeout. Try to freeze New Bedford here. It's got a few to waste. That's yeah. one there. I'm sure if it gets to eighteen, he would do the same again, maybe. Oh yes. Seven point lead here now for Durfee. Still plenty of bandwidth to finish this one off and set up a set number four, but New Bedford needs a few more, about four more or five more in a row here to make it legit down the stretch. Durfee ready, back on the floor now. Leaving it by five, uh, seven I should say. 20 to 13, serving as Maldonado. Nice serve by Maldonado. Dawsonberg kept it alive, but then the ball was played out. But Dawsonberg, with a kick save, kept it alive. But New Bedford not able to capitalize. They go down by 8, 21-13. Dawsonberg put that one away. was set up perfectly and hammered it. <laughs> On the outside. Blocked again by Durfee. 21-14 Durfee. And they're playing their best volleyball right now, Chris. Moving in unison. Blocking, setting. As Ball was out. I have no problem for him doing that. Absolutely He not. went for a big one at 22-15, absolutely. Go for the jugular. Yep. Point 
point to New Bedford that time. Yeah, a little miscommunication there with a set on that one. Figueroa, Ortega. Govin will back set to Granham. Kill for Granham. 23-16. Reed on the outside, Patel with a kill. Down six, 23-17. Need at least six here. Get it to 23 apiece. Maybe five would be close, but Ace. Ace. Ball on the line by Barboza. Take a free one there. Need a few more of those. Oh, trailing, big time. Trailing by five. Granham back in. Matuzic out. Only two places to serve. That was Maldonado and Mosier against number 15, Gomes. Granham will check out. Matuzic back in. New Bedford down by four. Turfey again to the bench. They take out Milford and put in Mores. That's Mores into the net. New Bedford down now. Only three. Matuzic out. Milford back in. Timeout Durfee. Twenty-three, You're here now, Joe. Now you got to play for it. Yeah, you're going to see what New Bedford is made of. I mean, they've kind of dug themselves a hole here in set four that they're trying to find their way out of. Twenty-three twenty. New Bedford down by three. Trying to come from way back in set. And there was a ball that was an overpass, easily put away by Patel. Durfee now starting to tighten up a bit here, Chris. They are, because that was a bad pass. No unforced errors, no service errors. Nope. Barboza, nice serve. Matuzic went with a tip. Put it away. Ortega was there. Somebody yeah. into the Ortega. net. It's Durfee. Wow. 23-22. Now it's where you want to be. Again, no service errors, which has been key here for Barboza on yeah. this service run. Yeah. I would go to the left. There it is. That's Matuzic. Yep, not a great set there. And New Bedford is there. Need a good set. But they've blocked Patel tonight, haven't they, they Joe? They have. They and, have gotten and him. And Maldonado. Go right up, Mosier. Oh, Go up again. Put it away. Go up again. Durfee keeping this point yeah. alive. Blocked there by New Bedford. Whalers playing their best point of the match. And Mosier. New Bedford is tied it at 23.
Dolman setting for Matuzic. No, no, no. For DeMello, no. Into the net. Wow. New Bedford has a chance to wrap it up in three straight with an that would be epic. run down the stretch. That would be epic. On the outside, blocked Great by block. the Bedford. Reed was there. Good play by Reed again. That's Granham. Somebody into the net. New Bedford touched the net. Tied at 24 now. What a play by, I'll tell you, Reed has reflex. been something. Yeah, reflex. He has really action. been sharp. And he's so he's sliding around, scraping his knees. Yep. Serve right into the net by Matuzic. So another set point. Set to the outside, Maldonado. Wow. Way out. Don't think it was the opportunity there. Nope. Had to throttle it back, keep the point alive. Well, that being said, checking in Mores, a senior. Let's see where he goes. Serving. Morey serving for Durfee. Good set. New Bedford was there. He was. Maldonado, that time put it away off the blocker. It's out. Point to New Bedford, another set point for the Whalers. Well, match point. Mosier. Number two. Nice serve by Mosier. New Bedford can't put it away. Uh, and I thought that was a carry right here. And they didn't call that. No. Nope. When, you, when you go down to a knee and you play it still overhand, usually that's a violation. Yep. That's DeMello. Mm -hmm. Barboza will set to the outside. Blocked there by Maldonado. Go up. Go up. And the ball is out. Point to New Bedford. Another set point. Another match point for New Bedford. This will be number three. Now Reed's way to the right here, Joe. Okay? Right. He's you on gotta, this side. You so gotta go to the, the, they gotta go to the service gotta right. Go to the left. I would go up with Tuzak. He's had trouble. Certainly has. And so has Morris. Yeah, I would switch. I'd put Reed in the middle here. And the serve has to go in. We got an official checking the rotation here. I guess they are right, so let, they're gonna go with it. Here we go. Maldonado. Good serve. Galvin to the outside. New Bedford was there. That's okay. Nice and deep in the corner. Reed. Uh, now they gotta just, just go gonna over. Keep it alive here. Oh, that looked like that hey. should have been a violation. Blocked. Dawsonberg. I don't know how that was not a violation, Chris. But New Bedford can't finish off the, the match here. 27 apiece. Yes, sideways, exactly. That's Dawsonberg, and it's out. Reed got out of the way.
Galvin. It's out. 28 apiece. Guess nobody wants it. No. Got a chance to end this. Yep. Into the net. Out. Point to New Bedford. Another set point for the Whalers. This is number five. Okay, just get it over. Galvin plays it over. It should be. There it and is. And there's a throwdown finally from Dawsonburg. And New Bedford wins it in three straight sets. But it wasn't easy. And the best volleyball, Chris, was actually played late here in the third set by New Bedford. Their best volleyball and the best volleyball of the match once New Bedford had come back from behind, then Durfee played well down the stretch here. Yeah, it got a little intense there at the end and there was some uh, anxiety on both sides and I thought Durfee kind of froze a little bit, Joe. They let some points that they didn't early and they did there. So New Bedford will pull away with this one and win in three, but wasn't as uh, pretty as they would like it, that's for sure. Certainly the play here tonight, not rep uh, resembling what we saw against Vogue Tech. But New Bedford's able to extend their winning streak and win here tonight yep. in three straight sets, finishing it off 30-28 in set number three. Well, a little bit of uh, activity behind yeah. it, to say the least. So, here. Yeah, I, I saw it building. It was the JV team uh, from Durfee on the bench there and some New Bedford fans getting involved with it, and it, it got a little ugly. So try to call security over a little bit earlier to settle that down, but, uh, you know, you, you, you do what you can. But needless to say, it's a win. New Bedford wins in three straight sets by scores of 25-22, 25-20, and 30-28. Whalers improve on the season to 12 and 7 and continue on their march to the postseason. That'll do it from the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium. For Chris Santos, I'm Joe Cabral, all of our staff here at the New Bedford Cable Network. Thanks for joining us tonight and have a good night, everyone. <laughs>